Brilliant. Care homes have learned a lot since March, when many shut their doors to visitors altogether in an attempt to stop the spread of COVID. Lovely. Here at Shinfield View near Reading, they too ban visitors for three months, but have now put in a series of measures to ensure that relatives of residents can visit safely. They have to make sure that I've got some, Dad. Very important. <laughs> Having spoken at length with families um, over the, the past five or six months, the most fundamental part was when can we start visiting again? And I think that the social isolation was as much a concern to, to family members as the, the infection um, it itself. We've, we've seen the benefit of when, once we opened up um, socially distanced visiting in our garden spaces in, um, in July, you, you just saw the, the difference and the, the mood change across the home. Um, family members, the residents themselves, staff seeing new faces coming and going. So yeah, Dad's 80th, you know, they opened the window like six inches and I could see them through the window for, you know, 30 minutes, sort of, after driving for 300 miles there and back. But it's not the same everywhere. Caitlin Rochester's parents are living in a care home. Her father, who has dementia, finds visiting arrangements there confusing. My dad kept saying, why are you... Why are, you, why are you talking to me through the window? Come, come, come in the door. And I kept saying, no, Dad, it's a pandemic, so we can't come in. He's like, oh, really? How was Dad's birthday in that photo? They'd put a banner up and said happy birthday to my dad and they'd got some of the residents down to come and have a little drink and stuff. But, you know, after the initial excitement faded, then Mum was really down on the phone, you know, kind of a massive milestone. Being, just being um, you know, celebrated through a window is really hard. Sorry. Quality of life is critically important for care home residents and their families, and evidence suggests that social isolation is associated with an increased risk of all-cause mortality, so that's death for all different reasons. The challenge for care homes is balancing the risks of this harm against letting COVID back in. Data analysed for Newsnight by Oxford University show that outbreaks continue to occur throughout summer in England, although at a much lower level than at the peak. Public Health England told us that the reason for the increase on the 13th of July is that the methodology changed. Each outbreak was counted separately. Testing was also ramped up around this time too. But infections are on the rise again. I think it can be very challenging for care homes to safely isolate residents. The, the staff I know in the care home sector have worked very hard to get very good at this. But despite that, it can be very difficult to isolate people safely. And it's, it's worth noting that um, the sort of assumption has been made that care homes will be able to isolate people safely, but there's been no form of uh, sort of government or public health auditing on care homes' ability to do this. The government promised weekly testing for staff and monthly testing for care home residents in July, but it's inconsistent across the sector and mass testing on this scale has its challenges. <laughs> Shinfield View now uses a private company to test all staff and residents and receives results quickly, but it was a different story when they were reliant on government testing. It's been incredibly hit and miss. You're waiting upwards of seven days for a result, which effectively renders it meaningless. Um, and then we started to see, you know, completely asymptomatic, asymptomatic staff who were now getting um, a positive reading. Um, so process and procedure says that they have to now isolate for 14 days, whilst we then administer two subsequent tests, um, and then you're getting negative tests off the back of that. So when you've got the unreliability of testing and you're getting false positives, it just doesn't give you any confidence at all in the whole testing procedure. And confidence is crucial if care homes are going to work towards a better balance between protecting residents from COVID and allowing them more visits. You know, they're not seeing the impact on their mental health. You know, I said to one of the staff, oh, you know, my dad's just withering away in here and my mum's going mad. And she said, well, you know, at least, at least we've had no cases. It's just kind of like that's... 
that's their objective, it seems. Winter will undoubtedly bring more challenges for care homes. Residents and their families will be hoping that this time the door can be left further ajar.